Who there? Are you struggling with this character and have absolutely no idea how to build them? Are you still learning what the items do? Or do you simply want to try something different on your favorite character? Well ladies and gentlemen, you have come to the right place. Without further ado, I will show you the standard build for this character, and maybe some more irregular builds I've tried. They're either Uber Troll or tons of fun. This short guide contains three sections, defense and healing items, damage items, and what orange, yellow, blue items are useful for survivability and damage. I'll have a grading system for defense, healing and damage items ranging from S tier which I believe is the best item to use, down to Z tier which contains all the leftover items meaning they are pointless to select as they are better items to grab. I will not be listing every item in the game but only the ones you should use. Propulsion armor plate is useful for early game survivability against mass spawning lesser wisp and lemurians. Stacking one of these every few levels helps with surviving enemies, damage over time abilities like fire and bleed. As brooch are useful for early to late game, perhaps the strongest survivability item you can get if you can keep the shield up. Try to stack one of these every 100 health you have or once per level. Half of times are useful throughout the entire game to prevent damage taking. Stacking at least 10 of these for the final boss makes life a hell lot easier. Leeching Seed is a great overall healing item. This only heals you once per ability or auto attack. Keep that in mind with damage over time abilities and item. Stacking 1 to 3 of these should suffice for the entire game. Pick up more at higher levels if you are starting to take more damage. Harvester's Scythe is great in combination with Lens Maker Glasses, so you heal large amounts with the critical strikes. Stack 5 max. Juvenation Rack doubles your healing. Now, honestly, who doesn't want that? Stack 1. Monster Tooth is useful if you plan on staying in melee range of enemies. Stack at least one. Chrono Bobble is useful for kiting enemies and slowing them down so you can escape certain death. Stack one. Diffusion is useful for increasing your overall health permanently. Stacking three of these should do. Dio's best friend is useful in case you die somehow. Basically it's an extra life. Try to keep one stack at all times. Lens Maker Glasser is a core damage item that effectively doubles your overall damage. Stack 9 maximum. Cry Tip Dagger is useful for characters that can attack enemies very fast, applying large amount of bleeding stacks which add up. Stack 10 max. Will o' the Wisp, a stronger version of gasoline. Stack at least 5. ATG Missile MK1 is perhaps the best staggered item in the game for characters who use attack speed builds. Stack as many as you want. Brilliant Behemoth basically makes your auto attacks do some area of effect damage, which can be useful to increase your overall damage. Frost Relic is an amazing close range item that does massive damage in a huge bubble. Stack one or more if you like, just remember it is only useful for close range. Gasoline is very useful to increase your area of effect damage for any character using white items. Grabbing one of these early can speed up your runs immensely, stack at least 5 of them. Old Guillotine is useful to finish elite monsters, don't bother with stacking more than one of these. Runeld's Band and Kajara's Band are useful for the extra area effect damage they provide. They can proc without killing enemies which makes them very strong items, stack at least 5. Berserker's Pauldron and Predatory Instincts both increase your attack speed quite a lot and trigger very easily, stack 1 of each. Resonance This is similar to Ceremonial Daggers because of how it activates. The difference is that it has a boomerang and area effect to it, making it almost on par with ceremonial daggers. Back one of these, max. Yuki Alley is useful early on for killing spread out enemies. Stack one or more if you want. PS Mask is a bit of a troll item really, but it's fun to use and I encourage you to use it as a ghost that kind of overpowered. Only stack one. Fuel Cell is great if you want large quantities of orange or blue item usages. Royal Capacitor's Fuel Cells and Gesture of the Drown are one of the most overpowered builds in this game. Stack as many as you want. Disposable Missile Launcher is one of the highest damage items in the game. The only issue is you can't select your targets as it chooses whatever is on your screen that is closest. Royal Capacitor does massive single target damage. In combination with a few area of effect items this can create a mini nuke. The backup is useful for surviving as you gain 4 allies that fly around you, creating more targets for your enemies. Supermassive Leech is useful if your shields disappear from high damage enemies, and it gives you the chance to heal fast. Hooks of Heresy is a great item to replace your secondary skill if it is useless. 
It is mainly used for close range. Stack 1. Strides of Heresy is great to replace useless utility skills like the character I'm talking about, as it provides a get out of jail free card in the form of a single click escape. Stack 1. Empathy Cause and Queen's Gland can increase your survivability. Create more targets for your enemies. Stack 1 of each. Thank you. 